Under the bright sun and blue sky, the hard-packed snow glistens off the steep slope of the Kickapoo fly trail, that which separates the men from the boys. The mountain is covered with skis and snowboards and echoes to ee cries of young voices. But old Methuselah wears neither skis nor snowboard, nor rides the razzle-dazzle superquad up the mountain. The rope toe of his dear devil youth time skiing, back when he was supreme at cutting steel edges into the crust, and he tightened his bootlaces before every run is found only in the ski museum. Racked by arthritis in every joint, <clears throat> this old day ski bum dons the one foot gear left to him for the winter mountain. Crampons. Pressing one foot firmly upon the crust and pushing up from behind with his other, his aging but still piercing eyes take in the view, the girls, the prowess. I, uh, of course, I would have rather had a career as a sizzling Hollywood lover boy, yeah. uh, but that didn't happen. And I found myself during the heart of my working years as a toy manufacturer. Uh, and so it was in relative old age when I stumbled on poetry of all things. I never had a, uh, a writing course in my life or a poetry course, just a pen and a pad and a typewriter in those days. And um, I felt at 60, I think I wrote my first poem, at 60 I had something to say of the life I've lived. Uh, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. I'm 86 years old and my pen is as smoky now as it was even then. I don't know what writer's cramp is. Because you see, I don't give a damn. I have no, I had the ambition as a manufacturer to be somebody. Now, I just want to create. I won't turn a finger to try to publish. I don't send them anywhere. I don't try anything to be anything or any acclamation or anything. Just write, and as long as I have a voice, recite. Because only half of a poem is on paper and ink. The other half is in the delivery. My brief poem, The Gift, is my summary in my elder years <clears throat> of the core of the love of man for woman, his commitment, and his marriage. <clears throat> the Gift. Such a gift it is to live to laugh, to lament, to love, and to know the result is incidental to striving, mere accessory to giving. This truth makes loving you easy to trust, a joy to cherish, spicy to envision irresistible to risk. <laughs>